Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And y'all, don't forget to share, share, share. I am excited. I know you guys are excited about 2024. And today we're going to talk about how to become your best self in 2024. That's right. The best version of you. Who were you in 2023? I mean, just really sit there and think about who were you in 2023? Now, we need to focus on who we want to become in 2024. That's right. So ask yourself, hmm, what, what no longer serves me right now? I'm going to say that again. Girl, if you need to go get your paper, your pen, whatever the case may be, go on and get it because we're going to get a little deep tonight. Go on and get your water, juice, Kool-Aid, wine, whatever it is, whatever it is that you need. Go on and get it. And y'all know me. It's something about that water. Yeah, I got to have the water. All right, so... If you have pen, paper, like I said, go on and get it. You might want to jot some of these things down because we are trying to become the best versions of ourselves. All right. I want you to ask yourself again, what no longer serves you? Everything that you are attached to is a part of your purpose, but some things are not a part of your purpose. So therefore... We need to get rid of it. We need to identify what is no longer serving you and cut it off. That could be people, places, things. And my OG Royals, they already know what I'm going to say. For new people, listen, get you out a piece of paper. And when it comes to people, okay, I want you to write down everybody that you socialize with. If they are positive and they bring you good vibes, good energy, you're going to put a plus sign beside their name. If when you're around this person, they are negative, they give you negative vibes, they just drain you, you're going to put a minus sign. Now, if they don't add or take away, you're going to give them an equal sign, okay? So the only people that we want in 2024 are equals and pluses. Negatives, we get rid of. Um, think about the places that you hang out. Everything carries energy. If it's negative vibes, certain places that you go, guess what? You're going to cut that off. You need to cut that off in 2024. All right. So it's like this. Imagine buying a home, okay? You are buying a house, okay? And you think, hmm, let me say that, and you think it's the house of your dreams. You move into this house, you furnish it and everything, but as time goes on, you know, everything that glitters is not gold, okay? Everything that shines is not gold, and everything starts falling apart. Um, it gets to the point where you don't want to go home. You don't want to be in this particular house. Now, sometimes even the things we do not want to let go of we have to release it because it no longer serves us. Um, like I said, that could be people, places, or things. You know, if you were in a home, um, it was a movie one time that came out called Money Pit, I think. Honey, that home, it, it drained them. It, it, it was, it was a no-go, okay? So if you have the no-goes, if you are in situations like that house, get out of it because it's time to build a brand new home. It's time to place yourself in a place where you can achieve your goals and have peace and success at the same time. And in order to have success, you have to sacrifice. You got to give up something. So you need to think about those things, write those things down because that's important when becoming the better version of yourself. All right, and that's what we're trying to do in 2024. Now, you need to put a system in place. 
because accountability is big. So let's just use this for example. If you are working out on a daily basis, um, if you say, well, you know what? I'm going to work out no matter what. Let's just use, let's say, three to five times a week. You know, pick a number, three or five. But then every day you're coming up with excuse, excuses after excuses, you are not going to get the results that you want to achieve. You know, if you say, okay, I want to be, mm, or um, I want to have a financial goal, if you are never cutting back, if you are not eating right or working out, you're not going to achieve um the weight goal, you're not going to achieve the financial goal. So you have to ask yourself, what is important to me? Um, because if I keep doing the things that I were doing that I was doing last year, I'm going to keep getting those same results. Um, keep doing the same things and not getting a different result. We call that insanity. So it takes 21 days to break a bad habit. Y'all, we're, we're breaking bad habits. We're breaking curses. We're doing whatever we got to do to become the better version of ourselves. Y'all, people are leaving from here. They are leaving from here um, day by day. You know, I'm getting to the point, I don't even want to turn on Facebook because somebody has passed away. People are existing and not living. And to all my royal babies and future royal babies that are watching, I don't want you to exist. I want you to live the life that you are meant and purpose to live. Woo! Let me say that again. I want you to live the life that you are meant to live. No, if you sit there and you say, well, I've tried and I tried and I tried. Well, guess what? Today is a new day. Get up and try again. If you need a partner, whether it's with finances, whether it's with uh, weight loss, whether it's um, living your soft girl era, whatever the goal is, get you an accountability partner. Get a system set in place that you can see so you can achieve what it is that you want to achieve. Y'all, I'm loving this. Get you a planner get you journals, whatever you need to be successful, get it and use it. 2024, we are showing up for ourselves. Isn't it amazing how we can show up for everybody else, do things for other people, give other people, give our jobs 110%, but we give ourselves only a fraction. That's like saying, I don't love me. I don't love me enough. I don't care enough about me to make sure that I have the best health, um, the best finances, because nine times out of 10, we are so compassionate when it comes to others and we leave nothing for ourselves. We're not doing that this year. <laughs> Let me say that again. We are not, with the T, doing that to ourselves. We're going to show up for us. Over here in this community, we're showing up for ourselves. We are loving ourselves. We're going to have accountability. And we're going to do what we need to do in order to get it done. Because when I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking to me as well. Because we are forever evolving. If you're not evolving, you're existing. And we're not doing that anymore. I want you guys to live. Once again, live the life that you are meant to live. Now, I want you to, to imagine, envision the girl, the woman that you want to become. I want you to think about her. Um, and now I want you to imagine and think about who you are now. Do you want to stay this person? Or do you want to evolve? And we should always want to evolve. We should always want to be better, strive for better. So I want you to think about that right now. Then on your piece of paper, write down who you were in 2023. Write all the things that were positive and write all the things that are negative because we're going to change 
the negatives. And a lot of times, you know, we say stuff, but when you write things down, guys, that is so powerful. This, when they say the pen is mightier than the sword, so true. The pen is powerful. Paper is powerful. You can change your life with notebook and a pen. Because as long as it's here and you can't see it, you can't focus on it, you can't achieve daily goals. Nine times out of ten, most of us are visionary people. We need to see what we are trying to achieve. So I want you to start writing things down and check them off. You know, as you hold yourself accountable, check the small things off. Because when you accomplish something small, guess what? It's going to lead to the bigger things. To people that want to start YouTube channels, um, one of my goals, I'm not going to share everything, but one of my goals this year is 10K. Um, we've been sitting at 5K for quite some time. That's because me, moi, moi, has not been doing what moi needs to do in order to get to 10K. Um, so I have to hold me accountable and I have to do what I need to do on my part. And then I give the rest to God because he is the one that will give the increase. But um, faith without works is dead. Let me say that again. Faith without works is dead. You can want it all day long, but if you do not put in the work ethic, it is not going to come to you. I mean, you know, that's just the way that life is. Um, what we put into the universe is what we get back. And if we tell ourselves, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy of that, I'm not worthy of this, um, we talk down to ourselves, well, guess what? You're not getting it, period. So I want you to speak positivity over yourself and over your life. Breathe life into you, you know, um, whether it's scriptures, whether it's positive affirmations, do it, get it done. It is time to change, y'all. It is time to change. Time is winding up. Time is not waiting on anybody. And guess what? When you make these changes, you are going to be the best versions of yourself. Let me say that again. You are going to be the best version of yourself. And that's that's what we want, guys. We want to be the best versions of ourselves. And once again, you know, as long as you're running off of empty, you have nothing to give to anybody else. So let's not run off of empty. We're going to make positive changes. Y'all know I'm going to keep you motivated, keep you pumped up. Because as I pump y'all up, I'm going to be pumping me up. Let me say that again. I'm going to be pumping me up. Um, you know, I was just telling my friend uh, today, matter of fact, not the other day, today. You know, I just hadn't been, I don't know, like, I was just in this, this funk and I just like, how can I get out of it? Just, oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm over it. So we are going to um, celebrate. Cheers to new beginnings. And y'all know I love you. So if you are still watching. I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on and hit that uh, subscribe button. I'll wait because it's free 99. It is definitely free 99. And um, you got this. That's all I got to say. You got this. Y'all know I love you. Um, I'm wishing you a successful rest of the week. Tomorrow. Like I said, do something that's going to help you get closer to your goals. Y'all know I love you. I'm Nikki J. Toodles. And I'm out.